largest rocky planet in the solar system is the Earth. Planets larger than the Earth in the solar system are always gas giants and do not have a solid surface that we have. But outside of the solar system, we found even larger solid planets. Much larger. Such planets which have a mass higher than the Earth does and which are also solid are called super-Earths. One good example of a super-Earth is Gliese 581c. It has mass at least 5.5 times greater than the Earth does. And interestingly, it is in a system which also has a few other super-Earths. But the thing about Gliese 581c is that it is in the habitable zone. That is, it orbits its star at a distance from which the temperature is normal so that liquid water could exist. What's also special about this whole system that this planet is in is that it is 20 light years away, which is relatively very close on a cosmic scale. But with current technology, it would still take us hundreds of thousands of years to reach this system with probes. So the planet Gliese 581c is 5.5 times more massive than the Earth is, and its radius should be 50% greater, assuming that it has an iron core like the usual. So the diameter of the planet is 19,000 kilometers. So let's take a closer look and land on this planet. It would be very much noticeable as soon as you would step out onto the surface that you would feel very heavy. And that's because the planet is much denser than the Earth is. It contains a lot more mass in a tighter space. Because of that, you would get tired walking around immediately. You would be only able to jump a tiny amount and you would sweat a lot because of the sudden shock of the heavy weight that you would carry around. It is also possible that the temperatures on this planet are extremely high and that the environment is Venus-like because of the greenhouse effect. Being in the habitable zone does not necessarily mean that the planet is habitable, but it is also possible that it does support water and that the temperature is normal. But as you would look into the distance, you would likely see the usual landscape that comes with geologic activity. Lots of mountains. But we still don't know what is the composition of the surface. Looking up, you would see Gliese 581 star. It would appear pretty large despite the fact that Gliese 581 is a tiny star. It is comparable to Jupiter. But it would appear large from the planet because it orbits it at only 11 million kilometers. Which is more than 13 times closer than the Earth is to the Sun. But this also means that Gliese 581c planet has a lot of radiation on its surface. What you would notice is that even after being around this planet for hours, is that shadows would not even move. It would seem like you're stuck in time. But what would be really going on is that because the star that this planet is orbiting is so close, the planet is tidally locked because of that. Meaning the planet does not spin and there is no day-night cycle, leaving one side of the planet in complete darkness. But there is also the twilight zone, which is the zone between the day and the night side. Here it is always evening, and this is the place where life could be possible as the temperatures would for sure be a lot more normal here. There would be just enough sunlight to sustain life, if there is any. Also a year on this super earth planet is 312 hours, which is 13 earth days. It goes around its star very quickly. So that is pretty much how a visit to this super earth planet would be like. What is also interesting to know is that we have sent a radio signal directly pointed at this planet in 2008. It is called a message from the Earth and it contains 501 submitted text messages that were chosen by the people. And it contains messages from the team that sent the radio signal. We sent the messages to let the universe know that we exist directly. And if some aliens do pick up the radio signals, they for sure won't know English but at least they'll know that we are here. The message as of right now traveled 62 trillion kilometers out of total 192 trillion kilometers, meaning it completed 33% of the path. The message will arrive on Gliese in 2029. To put it into perspective, the message left the whole solar system in 20 hours, as it is traveling at speed of light, but it needs 20 years to reach Gliese. It just shows you how enormous light years are.